All new this morning, many are giving thanks to a librarian with Grand Rapids Community College, not just for her work with the library at GRCC, but for the hundreds of volunteer hours she put in for another very important library. The library has always been a big part of, of one of our uh, services here that we provide to young people. Young people at the Kent County Juvenile Detention Center. I think it's given just another avenue and aspect to these young people's lives that, hey, you know, there's a lot more out there than just, you know, playing on our phones. We can actually read and get some inspiration or different knowledge from other avenues. Housing youth between the ages of 10 and 18, a crucial time for education but their library needed some work. The system we were using before was all handwritten. We were still using an old library card. Hey, write your name on here, what unit you're on, and check it in, we'll put it in this bin, and hopefully we can find it later. That's when GRCC librarian Sophia War Brewer came to mind. I just emailed her and just asked her if she would be willing to maybe just come in and take a look at our library, maybe provide us with some suggestions. I immediately thought, oh yeah, I can help them with that because that's what I do. Initially, just hoping for some ideas. Then she wanted to sponsor us for it. And then, you know, she came in and they started cataloging all our books and found out that we have over like 6,000 books here. Putting new labels on every single book by hand and organizing a book drive that brought in over 1,200 more books. They were here for countless hours, more times than I could ever ask. It was way more than I ever even envisioned. Um, weekends, holidays, weeknights, during the weekdays, Fridays, Saturdays, Sundays, anything you can imagine. Dedicating more than 250 volunteer hours. Now when a student comes in or a resident comes in and they want a book, say, on basketball, they have a system that they can look in and type in the word basketball and give them their options for basketball. Before, they would have to scan the shelves to see whether or not they had books on basketball. My goal was to be efficient and make it seamless, and Sophia was able to give us all of that. Books are windows, doors, and sliding doors. So they are opportunities for people to open up and expand their minds. The library at the detention center had been in such bad shape, they had to shut it down. But after this year-long overhaul, that library was able to reopen just a few weeks ago.